chapter 16 verse 14 the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet and they shall call thee the city of the Lord the Zion of the Holy One of Israel the names are beautiful this year the names, your names are glorious this year. Whereas thou hast been turned, thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make you an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of the kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, I am thy Savior, thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For brass, I will bring gold. For iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass. And for stone, iron, I will also make thy officers peace. And thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. No wasting, no destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt be called. This is your name. That thou shalt be thy wall. That thou, thou shalt call thy walls salvation. And thy gates praise. New name, salvation. New name, praise. The sun shall no more be thy light by day. Neither the brightness of the moon give, neither shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light. And thy God, thy glory, thy sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be an everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. Thy people also shall all be righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one, a little one, a little one shall become a thousand. Something is happening this year. Glorious things are happening this year. Expansion. Enlargement. Extension. And God will make your roots go deep. Will make your branches go high. Fruits in every family. Joy in every life. Because it says a little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. What does that mean? What does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? I, the Lord, will hasten it. It will start in January. Your blessings are not waiting till March or April or November or December. I, the Lord, will hasten it. He will do it in Jesus' name. You are even going to carry part of the blessing home today. Because the Lord says He will hasten it. He will perform it in Jesus' name. Isn't it wonderful? The Lord says this is a new year. You are going to be a new man. And then you are going to have a new name. I have a new name. I said I have a new name. Let me tell you the name. Number one, you are a son. Number two, you are sheep. Number three, you are saint. Number four, you are sword. Number five, you are soldier. Number six, you are servant. Number seven, you have become a star. Number one, son. Let's look at Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, the new name. The new name that the Lord is giving everyone that comes to the Lord. As newborn babes in Christ, you are born again. You are a child of God. You are turned away from sin. And you turn to the Savior. And He says, I give you a new name. You are no more an enemy. 
You are no more an outsider. You are a son to the Father in Jesus' name. And then we will read in that passage, Romans chapter 8 verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. They are the sons of God. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. And the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then ears, ears of God, and joint ear with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we might also be glorified with him. It says, now we have new names and we are sons. And because we are sons, we are inheriting everything that belongs to the Father belongs to you. And all the joy, you need all the health, you need all the holiness, you need all the provision, you need all the prosperity, you need everything that's available for you this year. And from this day, you'll begin to enjoy them. Number one, we're sons. Number two, we're sheep. We're looking at John chapter 10. John chapter 10. And I'm reading there from verse 2 to verse 5. John chapter 10, verse 2. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. This year you will not be stubborn goats. Amen. You will be a following sheep in Jesus' name. Amen. The sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. The Lord says the goats do not belong to him. If you find anybody that is like a goat, heady, stiff necked stubborn, hard hearted, that's not of God. Those ones do not belong to the Lord. They're deceiving themselves and they think they are saved. If somebody is heady, incorrigible, stubborn, stiff necked he that has been often reproved and hardness his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy. He doesn't have a redeemer. But the people of the Lord have a new name and the name is son and the name is sheep. And he says, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. And he says in verse 5, and a stranger will they not follow but they will flee from the stranger, for they know not the voice of strangers. We're looking at verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. They follow me. The sheep, they follow the shepherd. They follow the Lord. They follow the word of the shepherd, the word of scripture. In verse 28, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. As the sheep are following the Lord, we will not perish. Amen. You will not perish. Amen. I will not perish. Amen. We will not perish. Amen. I will help you with the scriptures this year to make sure you will not perish. Amen. You will help me with your response to my preaching to make sure I will not perish. Amen. You will not perish. Your family will not perish. The work of your hand will not perish. The seed you sow, you will reap that seed. And your ministry will not perish. That you have been blessed with this powerful message. Our bottom, our address is at the bottom of the uh, of the screen. I believe you will join us one of this Sunday to worship together. Thank you. God bless you. Let us pray. Our mighty Father. We glorify your name and thank you, Lord, because of this powerful message. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will touch those people who are in need of salvation, those people who are in need of prosperity, those people who are in need of healing. And the power, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will give testimony because of this message. In Jesus' name we pray. Say one more time, say, oh. Oh, Lord.